Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another Math and Minecraft episode. Today, we're gonna try to recreate Pascal's triangle using the randomness of villager walking. Ah. And don't you worry, only a few villagers were hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> All right, let me show you how we're gonna do this. Well, first, let me explain to you what Pascal's triangle is. The triangle is constructed in the following way. The leftmost and rightmost entry of each row is one. Every other entry is the sum of the two numbers above it. One thing to note is that the sum of the entries in the zeroth row is one, the first row is two, and in general, the sum of the entries in the ith row is two to the i. Another less obvious fact is each entry counts the number of lattice paths from the top to that entry. For example, this entry is four because there are four paths from the top to this entry. So what we're going to do is let a villager fall randomly down the triangle 256 times and we'll keep track of how many times they land on each entry. We'll then scale each entry in row i by two to the i over 256 to give us our recreation of Pascal's triangle. Just so you can see how the mechanics work, let me spawn in a villager. It could choose to go left or right. Here it went left. And now behind we have chests. And you can see in this chest, there's a gold block since the villager landed on this block. In the top, there's another gold block. But since the villager didn't go this way, there's no block. So those are the basic mechanics that we'll be using. All right, Mr. Villager, have fun on your trip. That poor guy must be exhausted. All right, well, here are the results. This is the number of times the villager landed on each of these blocks. Now we're going to multiply each entry by the scaling factor that we discussed, and we get this for our recreation of Pascal's triangle. The bottom rows are a little off, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the result. Anyway, I had a lot of fun making this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Math and Minecraft episodes, and let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for some future episodes. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye.